How I sent for the math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss further into integrals and volumes, and I'll go over example seven of this video series and solve. Uh, this example is pretty uh, useful right here. Uh, the figure below shows a solid with a circular base um, of radius one and uh, parallel cross sections perpendicular to the base are equal lateral triangles uh, find the volume of the solid basically what this means here so imagine the base is a, is a um, circle and now the cross sections at each point are equilateral triangles so these are just just uh, triangles with the same side everywhere at any cross section across it looks something like this so instead of a sphere you have this kind of more pointy shape and this is is equilateral triangles across. Yeah, so now if we were to draw this shape but on a xy plane, so that's I just draw it at the origin, it looks something like this. So there's the xy axis across. Uh, now this dashed line just means uh, just just on the out outer side of it. So now if we were to draw the cross sections, let's just draw a random point here. Draw it in red. As you can see, it will look something like this and just a triangle. So that is a cross section, etc., and it gets uh, bigger right here. And again, yeah, it'll be something like this across it uh, there. Yeah, it looks something like that. Yeah, so I'll draw one more over here. So I'll draw one like this, and again, it goes like that and across. I'll shade this in. So this is just a just a general uh, yeah cross section of the point. We'll call the spot A right here. A this is B right here, and we'll call this C. Yeah. So now if we were to draw the base of this shape, so as you can see, it's a circular shape, and uh, so this this equation. We'll look at all we need to do is actually consider just the top part. So this shape, since it's a base of uh, a radius of one. So distance from uh, here to here is one. Call that r equals one. Then uh, this y, the, the function of this top curve is just equal to y equals square root one minus x squared. And this this comes from obviously the equation of a circle, which is just x squared plus y squared equals well radius squared, or in this case equals to one. One squared is just one. And we just rearrange solve for y, we get this. So it's plus or minus uh, square root 1 minus x squared, but we're only going to consider the top, the top part. Yeah, so yeah, the radius is 1. I'll just write down 1 here just to make it neater. And now this point is negative 1 across. So now if we look at this, uh, this was A, uh, for not, not B. So this is the A, B, C right there. So on this side right here, this is our A. And now this side right here is our B right there. And and this distance right here is Y. And and at, this is the point, let's we'll just call this uh, X right here. So at, at X, the, the distance upwards here is, is Y. Yeah, or in other words, B the, is at the point X, Y on the base. And now when we drag this here, because we want to solve this area A of X, and we're going to use this. Uh, in our volume integral, just like earlier videos, so and then we would basically consider this as a thickness. Yeah, we'll consider this as a thickness delta x right here on this spot, and we'll use it in the volume integral. So now that's a of x. So now let's just draw it uh, down like this. So it's a, just an equilateral triangle. So it looks something like this, and it's from the center, right? So we know that. I'll draw this dashed line. We know that from here to here is y, here to here is y as well. Each one of these is 60 degrees. They all have to add up to uh, 180. And now this distance, uh, this one right here, is is going to be 2y because they all have to have the same length or it's equilateral. So now we have this side. Now we can solve for this. Um, I'll call this value z. So we could just use Pythagoras, so we can go z squared plus y squared equals 2, uh, 2y squared, this equals to 4y squared. Solve for z, z equals 2, plus or minus, just move this on the other side, 
uh, 3y squared. We're only going to consider the positive in this case because negative doesn't make sense in our example. So z equals 2, uh, I mean this is z squared, so z equals 2 square root 3, then the y is just uh, the y squared, just, just y by itself. So that is our z. So now we can solve for this area right here. So our a of x is equal to, well, area of the triangle, which is just base times height divided by 2. And that just equals 2, well, the height is just our z. Equals is z times, well, let's rearrange that. Base is going to be our 2y times by our height, which is z, divided by 2. So these 2's cancel. This equals to z times y. And now the z equals 2 squared 3 times y. Now there's a y there, so we put a squared. And now we know that y is equal to 2 squared 1 minus x squared. But when you square it, it just, be it just becomes 1 minus x squared. So this equals 2 square root 3 times 1 minus x squared. So that is our area. And this is our area of function, and it changes wherever x is is so now we could solve our volume so volume in this case we're going to go from negative one to one and we have we basically just look at the positive y right here we plug in the because we, we all we need to do is yeah just place the area function because we already have it in terms of x and it varies wherever this x is so there yeah that's why we never had to worry about this negative part right here for this um yeah, this function of the circle. So now this equals to integral from negative 1 to 1 of a of x times d of x. And now this is equal to, just plug in this, this value in right there. That's going to be integral from negative 1 to 1 of square root 3, 1 minus x squared dx. And in fact, if we were to, to save time in our calculation, uh, this is all symmetrical. This whole shape is, is symmetrical Yeah, about both axes. So we can basically do the integral up to 0 and just multiply by 2. So we could just go, yeah, this equals 2. Just, yeah, we could just put a 0 and put a 2 right there. So this is by symmetry. So this helps us in our uh, calculation. And now we basically just solve our integral. So this equals 2, put this out there first, 2 squared 3 integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x squared dx equals 2, 2 squared 3. Now this is going to be integral of 1 is, is x, this minus x cubed divided by 3. And this is from 0 to 1. So when you plug in 0, they just cancel. So this saves some time in our calculation by using symmetry. So now we just plug that in, plug the 1 in. So we've got 1 minus 1 over 3. This equals 2. This is going to be, well, 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3. That's just square root of 3 times it by 2 over 3. And this equals to 4 times square root of 3 over 3. 3. You could just leave it like that. Yeah, and that's our final answer uh, right there. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. It's pretty useful. Uh, it's a, it's different from my earlier examples. In this case, we have to, we have a sort of a circular uh, shape. We're just basically doing it as a triangle area right there. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And like always, stay tuned for another math easy solution.